Archaeologists discovered this grave of a human and a cat that seemed to be buried together beneath this 9,500-year-old home on the Mediterranean island of Cyprus. A couple of teams, they did a genetic analysis of these bones that are found and found in Europe, and their conclusion is that none of these cats are related to today's cat. They're European wild cats, which is sort of a distant relative of today's cats. Once you take these cats out of the equation, then the oldest cats now become this DNA that was recovered from cat mummies that date between maybe about 500 BCE to about zero. And this time frame is really interesting because we're now when we're talking around 500 BCE in ancient Egypt, this is around the time where you have this resurgence of this cult of Bastet. And Bastet was this very famous Egyptian goddess. She used to have the head of a lion. Now around the first millennium BCE, she gets the head of a cat. There's these cults that arise around Bastet. Pilgrims would come to these temples. They would want these what are called votive mummies. And to create these mummies, the priests or whoever ran these temples needed cats, lots and lots of cats, potentially millions. And it became such big business that it's estimated that there were millions of these cat mummies created. And to have millions of cat mummies, you need to be breeding millions of cats. Wild cats don't like being around people. They don't like being around other cats. And all of a sudden they're forced into this environment. And this, at least the authors suggest, would have selected for the tamest cats that eventually can lead to domestication. And so one of the authors actually calls this the uh, the murder domestication pathway. There's a couple reasons that this may not be true. There are older depictions of cats in Egyptian art. We're not sure they're domestic cats, but it would certainly predate this cat cult hypothesis. Also, you could still have this pathway where rodents are helping to lead to cat domestication. Ancient Egypt, people were storing grains in their homes. If the cat comes in, the cat's killing rodents. People also have problems with snakes and scorpions, which cats are also likely to kill. And that's certainly another completely viable pathway to cat domestication.